All right. So I'm of the opinion that we have fantastic build tools. Uh, but like a lot of tools and everything out in the world, there's just not enough examples of their use. So I'm going to try and bridge that gap a little bit with a game that I made called Stackblocks. And so multi-platform uh, using Kona and CMake. I uh, just wanted to have it be something a little bit more complicated than uh, you know, what you may find in documentation, uh, a hello world kind of example. And uh, so let's take a look at what we're targeting. So mobile and desktop platforms. And the uh, uh, basic idea is uh, target a couple of the architectures. So uh, you get good uh, device compatibility on both iOS and Android and then uh, also target as old of operating systems as possible while still getting to use new tools because I want to use all the new features. Of course, when you put something on the App Store, I should go back for a sec. I also release on the App Store because I want to, you know, to make sure that it's actually possible. And when you do that, you get to hear what people really think about what you just made. And then, so that was the App Store. Play Store is a little bit better, but I know each of these people, so I'm pretty sure they were just trying to be nice. <laughs> but we have to remember that we're really talking about the build setup here, a good build, good dev workflow, uh, not so much the game itself, although it was fun to make. So I'm trying to use latest everything, and I mean latest, like the Conan release, I think it was just last week. <laughs> uh, and so CMake for the project generation on, on all those platforms, the uh, build system generation rather, uh, Conan for the package management, and then just kind of the mainstream selections of each of uh, the uh, compilers on each of the platforms. And then Gradle for just a little bit of Java uh, having to do with the Android app and also signing and, and packaging it. But I have to emphasize that using C++ across the board and sharing that code across all the platforms. So this is what the package dependency looks like. Uh, up at the top, you have the executable. Uh, this would basically be where I put all the code that would just be uh, what, you, what would be per pertinent to this particular game. And then down below, I made a package of kind of more generic graphics-y things that I'd be able to use uh, for another game, let's say. So I could sh start sharing this out, keep that open source, have a secret game project, who knows. Uh, and then from, from there you have the, uh, all of the third party libraries, the SDL2 libraries that I use for the heavy lifting of the graphics, and then all of the libraries that it depends on. And uh, all of the nodes in blue are individual packages. They have their own CIs. And uh, so when you push a change to the code or the recipe for that package, you get a, a new package automatically on all the platforms you're supporting. It makes things very easy. Uh, so just a quick note on my favorite new feature. Uh, you may have seen the traditional way where you have like username and then stable or testing for the, the channel. Uh, you can now use just git hash. It's still an experimental feature, but it's really nice integration into your Conan uh, recipe uh, repository to just say, I'm on this version, oh, and this hash of your uh, recipe. So with that, happy building. Uh, here's the link to uh, the repo. Uh, it has the links to all of the Conan repos as well. Uh, it also has a link to download the game if you really want to play it. Uh, you saw what the reviews were like, so it's up to you. Uh, and uh, email address is there if anyone has any questions or comments. I'm a build engineer by day. I do a lot of buildy stuff, so if you ever want to shoot the breeze on your current build woes, I'm definitely up for that. So that's all I got. Thank you very much. Thank you.